Hello everyone, I'm Anson and the title of our paper is Recon, Relation Extraction Using Knowledge Graph Context in a Graph Neural Network. The term knowledge graph in the context of Google search, it stems from the work on semantic web. Semantic web stores information in mainly two varieties. In the first, we have the rep representation stored in the form of RDF triples and order of the reasoning. And in the second variety, we store the graph along with the node properties and relation information in a graph data store such as Neo4j. A KG is made up of two concepts, namely T box and A box. A T box, as we can see, stores abstract schema such as president, politician, human, person, etc. As opposed to an A box, which stores more concrete instances of these properties, such as Barack Obama, and the properties between Barack Obama and the president, such as Barack Obama occupation as a president, which is a subclass of a politician, which is a subclass of a human. And Barack Obama is an instance of a human. So we would like to make use of these properties in the T box in order to predict the relation between two entities. Specifically, we have made use of these four context informations, namely the areas, description, instance of, and the label or the surface form. In addition, we also make use of the triple information in the neighborhood of the entity being considered. KGs are a relation between entities. And we would like to see if such background knowledge could help in the task of relation extraction. The definition of a relation extraction task is given a sentence and the two entities in the sentence or a bag of sentences, we would like to predict what is the relation existing between them in the KG. For example, Bosley took part in Christmas in the presence of Barack Obama and the first lady. Here, the entities are Barack Obama and first lady. And the task is to predict the relation between them, which is that of a spouse. The RE task was introduced in the year 2009. Existing approaches focus more on getting information from the context in the sentence and do not consider incorporating additional KG sources. To add another point, there are two variants in the RE task. One is the multi-instance setting, where we consider multiple bag of sentences in addition to the given sentence, and the sentential context, sentential RE task, where we consider only the given sentence and ignore any other sentences present in the document. The definition of a sentential RE task is very similar to that of the standard RE task, except that we would not use any other bag of sentences in the document, and only the sentence under consideration, along with the annotated identities, are used to predict the relation. The research question we ask is, what is the impact of knowledge graph context on the RE task, on the sentential RE task? To familiarize the audience with the terms used, Entity attribute context refers to the T-box attributes of the entities in the KG. KG triple context refers to the triples in the neighborhood of the entities being considered. Separate vector spaces refers to the separation of vector spaces or embedding spaces between the entity and relation vectors. And the aggregator is a module which combines all the context information. Previous works include Recite, which also uses such context information such as alias for relation extraction. However, they ignore certain other context information such as description, etc. KBCAT is a variant of the graph attention network on KBs. We use it to learn the entity embeddings. Context-aware RE 
was the first to introduce the sentential array task. They use context in the form of the entity embeddings or the entities present in the sentence. However, they do not use any other uh, so, uh, source of information from the cage. GPGNN improves upon the sentential array task by learning the parameters of the transition matrix of the GNN. And they claim this allows for efficient message passing. The approach of our, our approach is as given in the diagram. The sentence on which the relation has to be predicted is given to a sentence embedding module, which learns the token embeddings. This could be uh, a simple pre-trained uh, glove model. Or we could even use context embeddings from a language model. The entities are then given to the EAC module. In this case, the Barack Obama and Michelle Obama are the entities. Their attributes are extracted from the KG. So we have the description, the instance, and the alias information. And each of these are given to the EAC module for encoding. The EAC module takes the word embeddings and the character embeddings concatenates them, gives it to a biology in there, which learns the embeddings and the output is then concatenated and given to a 1D CNN. The 1D CNN finally pulls the information along the zero dimension. And this gives us a fixed dimension vector from a multiset. The output of the AC module is then fed to the aggregate. For the KG triple context, we feed the triples in the neighborhood of the entities being considered. We use the KG guard and learn the embeddings in separate spaces. So the triple context learner module is pre-trained and the embeddings are then given to the aggregator. The aggregator uses a sentence encoder, which in this case is a biology team network to learn embeddings from the sentence, which is then used to learn the parameters of the transition matrix in the propagation layers. The propagation layer is initialized from the embeddings or the output of the EAC module. The output of each of these propagation layers is concatenated along with the KG triple embedding and given for further classification to predict the relation. As we can see from the results, we obtain a statistically significant output or result as compared to the baselines, which do not use context information. On the left, we see the micro results. And on the right, we see the macro precision recall on Wikidata. Similarly, on the NYT data set, we obtain comparable results to the multi-instance baselines. And as can be seen from the PR curves, we are able to maintain a high precision at a higher records. We have done an ablation study in which we induce each of the context information individually to the model. And we see that different context information helps differently in different settings. For example, on the Wikidata dataset, description information gives the higher performance, whereas on the freebase dataset, it is the alias information. This motivates the question that can we intelligently select context information before feeding it to the model? We also have done an ablation on separating the vector spaces. And we find that separating the embedding spaces in this way helps or gives a boost to the performance on both the data sets. So to conclude, we find that KGs are a rich source of knowledge and utilizing the context information effectively helps learn an amicable representation. More expressive embeddings can be achieved when the entity and relation embeddings are learned in separate spaces. Baseline for the sentential RE task. And on the results obtained, or from the results obtained on the multi-instance dataset, we submit that KG context is a trade-off for the multi-instance RE setting. Open questions are 
what other forms of KGT box concepts could be used in addition to the four attribute information we have used? Uh, which triples to the performance? And can we intelligently select context information before feeding it to the network? And also, how do we induce ontology reasoning approaches as a form of KG context? That's all. Thank you.